Welcome, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to compare two variables together in terms of having one affecting the other. So when you have two variables, it often is the case that you can have one explaining the other. So we call that an explanatory and response situation. So if we're talking about an explanatory variable, and sometimes people can refer to it as an independent variable, but an explanatory variable does just what you would expect. What is the root of that? It's going to explain. So it explains a change in another variable, which we call a response variable. So the explanatory variable can cause things to change in the response variable. So again, we call it explanatory and response. I like that because it's intuitive to me because it explains and the one responds to it. However, you could call it an independent and a dependent variable. There are other names that we could call it, but right now we're gonna say explanatory and response because one explains the other. Now, here I have some uh, variables. Let's just call it that. So we have uh, essentially sex or the gender of an individual and different kind of fruits that they might like. So in this situation, which of the two, so we have sex and we have different fruits, which of the two would be doing the explaining and which one would be doing the responding? So what's your thought on that? Would it be that different fruits could change your sex, or would it be possibly that the different sex or gender of an individual would affect what their favorite fruit was? Probably that direction, right? We would say that a different gender or different sex might affect which fruit is your favorite. It wouldn't be that if you changed and suddenly went from loving watermelons to loving bananas, that those fruits actually would be, you know, changing your different sex or gender. So here, our explanatory variable, or the variable doing the explaining, would be sex or gender, and then the response variable would be that favorite fruit. So sometimes, though, and this is kind of tricky, it's not a very black and white relationship. Sometimes in research, you actually don't know the direction, so you're not sure if it's going to be that one is explaining the other, and you might be doing research for years and think that the direction is one way and it actually is the other way. So it's kind of a tricky subject, explanatory versus response. Sometimes it's very black and white. Sometimes it's like this, your age is gonna affect how far you can see. Your location or where you live might affect uh, how susceptible you are to different allergens. So that is pretty definitive, but sometimes when you're doing research, don't expect that it's always going to be an easy idea or an easy uh, relationship to identify. So in future videos, I'll talk about how an explanatory and response variable might be represented for two categorical variables. See you then.